morning students a very warm welcome to all of you now today we will solve test paper 2 so let's begin first question is here about use of is am are okay so first question is about use of is am are so in which topic in which tense we will use is am are is am are used in present continuous tense so in which we apply few rules the rules are here with if your subject will be singular okay your subject is he she it and for the related to singular noun we will use is plus verb with first form and plus ing if your verb is plural okay so what we will use with plural subject like they you we and for the plural noun we will use are plus verb with first form plus ing okay next if your subject is i so which helping verb we will use am plus verb with first form plus ing so overall with singular we use is with plural we will use are and for i we will use am with the main verb with ing so let's begin this exercise first question is here i blank first sentence is here i blank writing a poem on my mother here firstly what we will do we will see the subject is here as a i so with the i we use am okay i am here is uh, uh, main with main verb with ing has given here so we will not use this thing only we will apply the helping verb in the sentence so with the i we use am now second the girls blank playing in park here we will firstly see the subject here is subject the girls so girls is the plural noun with the plural noun we will use helping verb as a are so sentence being the girls are playing in the park now third is here here is radha as a subject this is the name of the girl blank painting a beautiful picture so here the subject is about a singular noun the name of any person for the singular uh, sorry for the singular noun we will use is as a helping verb so sentence being radha is painting a beautiful picture like this we will apply all the rules now come to the second exercise of this test paper so in the second exercise is about the simple present tense okay simple present tense we can say it the like in this we will use this type of rules so see here in it if your subject is 
that es okay if your subject is plural so what we will do with they we i and for the plural noun and for the you if your subject is as related to the plural noun or the pronoun like this so what we will do or we will use only verb with first form so understand this topic by these example in the sentences so first sentence is here jahid blank here in the bracket is verb given exercise okay in the morning so we will put this main verb here in the blank by using these rules okay so here is we can see firstly the subject so sub so subject is here singular jahir is the name of verb person so what we will do we will put this main verb here exercise using s with it because for the singular we use verb with first form and with s and es so e is already given so we will put only x so this being exercises jahir exercises in the morning okay next second is she blank in the bracket do her homework in the afternoon so here is the subject is singular again so what we will do we put here this main verb and apply es with it so it being does she does her homework in the afternoon now next is i blank brush my teeth so here i is including as the plural subject so what we will do we will write only verb with first form because with i we will use verb with first form so i write here same as a in the bracket so it being i brush my teeth so like this you will use these rules now question number c of this test paper this is about at ed or d okay so where we put ed and d we will uh, apply these we will use these like of uh, letters in the past tense okay for the past tense which type of rules we apply past tense here is a simple past tense okay so in it with all subject we use verb with second form all subject like he she it i we they you for singular noun for plural noun is as a subject what we will use we will use verb with second form okay so understand it about when we use verb with second form we normally use ed or d after each verb to make it uh, to convert into past tense so now see here first is love so it be love because here e already given so we will write d with it so it being love okay second is paint so it being painted okay now third is finish so it being finished after using ed so like this we will convert all main verb into the past tense verb okay now come to the question number d of this exercise in it we will understand a 
about the use of has, have and had. Okay? In this, what, which type of rules we apply? Where we use it? We use these for the primary meaning like for possess, for own, for contain. We use normally these words. Okay? But has, have is used in the present tense. For the present action we use has, have and for the past action we use had. Okay? But in the present tense where we use has and where we use have. Has is used for the singular subject. Okay? For the singular noun or yeah, singular subject And have is used for the plural subject. So understand these by using these uh, rules. Okay. Now I am going to write first sentence here. My sister. Blank. A gold medal. Which she lost. Okay. My sister a gold medal which she lost. Here this sentence is telling us, uh, us about the action that happened in the past. Ki meri sister ke baad, firstly we understand. We convert its Hindi meaning. Mary sister ke paas ek gold medal tha jisne, jisko usne kho diya. Which she lost. Jisko kho diya hai. So, which type of uh, this word we will use? We will use had here. Now, second. We blank a meeting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay? So this sentence is again telling us the action that is going in the present. So which word, which this type of words we will use here. Firstly we see, we will focus on the subject. Here is subject is plural. So the sentence is about present tense and for the plural. So which word is suitable for it? This one, have. We have a meeting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Like this we will use it. Okay, next is Suma blank a terrible attack yesterday. Okay. So, this sentence is telling about action that happened in the past. And firstly, we see subject here is a singular or plural. With all, we use with singular noun and for the plural noun, with all, we use had. So, here is no meaning to choose singular or plural. Only we will see this action happened in the past and we put had here. Like this you will solve this exercise. Now come to the question number E. This is about proposition. So firstly we know about what are proposition. Preposition are the word that tell us the position of a, a person, animal, thing and the place. And it made by two words pre and position. So it is telling about the position of a thing or a people. So in it lot of words are there like in, on, behind, under and inside over so all things are explained in uh, previous video 
so only these words that are used in this we will use now for own own is used for something is up of the uh, anything that is touched okay we will use here own beside beside means piche yani something is at the behind of something now this is over over is used for the position of upper side but not in the touching position okay this is not touched now beside is used for the side of something and again is behind is used for the thing that is uh, at the back of something now inside is used for something is in the another thing okay something is seen in the inside of something okay now next is under under is where we use under under is used for the something that is uh, that is in the position of something is uh, in the under position yani kisi cheez ke niche like this you can understand i make here a box and a bowl like or ye bowl box ke upar bilkul touch hai to hum own position karenge agar box ke side mein hai to hum behind beside use karenge agar uske without touch position mein hai to hum over use karenge behind means piche and inside means kisi ke andar and under means kisi ke niche like this we will use these words so firstly i am writing the sentence so you can understand by the helping of this the cat is sitting blank the chair so here are three words are given in on and inside so which word is suitable for this sentence cat baithi hai chair ke kahan par क्या वो चेयर के अंदर बैठी है चेयर एक ओपन पोजीशन में होती है तो वो उसके अंदर नहीं बैठी होती अंदर मीन्स किसी चीज के अंदर कवर हो जाना इनसाइड बिल्कुल क्लोज हो जाना उस चीज के अंदर बिल्कुल क्लोज हो जाना सो ओन इज अटेबल वर्ड फॉर दिस सेंटेंस ओन मीन्स उसके ऊपर कैट कहा बैठी है चेयर के ऊपर नाउ नेक्स्ट सी अगेन सेकेंड वन Jia is sitting blank Nina here three words are given under over beside okay to so, isme hum firstly we will see the position of the person Jia baithi hai Nina ke kaha niche no this is not a suitable for it Over, जो विदाउट टचिंग पोजिशन में हो ही नहीं सकता कोई पर्सन सो दिस इज बिसाइड दिस वर्ड इज सुटेबल उसके पीछे बैठी है लाइक दिस वी विल यूज दिस वर्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू इज सेंटेंस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट एफ एफ इज यूज फॉर द एडवर्क सो वॉट आर एडवर्क दैट टेल्स मोर अबाउट द वर्क ठीक है हाउ वे आर एंड वेन एक्शन हैपन so we will apply these rule in this exercise next is g for the conjun conjunction so what are conjunction conjunction are the word that join two sentences in the group of words so these help us to make short and simple sentence these helping us like this next is question number h this is about the asking questions like who when where so this type of words we will use to ask anything about any place and any something ya aap jis tarah se aap question puchna chahoge we want to ask anything to anyone we will use this type of question sentence and question words so we will use in uh, the framing of our sentence so i hope you understand all the exercises and all the 
video so revise and complete this exercise with the help of this video and pdf thank you have a nice day